Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is April the 9th, 2019, and um, just pretty much got the greenhouse finished. Um, it took about three years to build, so um, I'm going to be moving my stuff out to the greenhouse today. The greenhouse is heated, so um, it's going to take me a while to get all of the stuff moved in to the greenhouse, but I'll be back when it's done and I'll show you. So we'll be back. Okay, so um, today is April the 17th, 2019, and uh, I was bringing stuff out to the uh, greenhouse hoop house, and um, we do have the fan running. And that's pulling the air through. Uh, it's about 70 some degrees outside. So it's about like 90 in here, even with the doors and all the vents open. So it's really important that you get airflow coming through. So I just turned the fan down on low. We normally run it on medium. And I just wanted to show you the plants in here. Now this here is Nigelia. Um, I this is the first time that I've ever grown this from seed, and I'm going to be showing you how to start this from seed. Um, I did some experiments with it. Really like the flowers; they're really different. The foliage is really f like frilly. Now this plant is poisonous, so you want to make sure like you keep pets and children away from it. And I've been planting seeds in here. This is a flat of lettuce here. So this is the loose leaf mix. And then um, back here is, I believe, a ruby crunch. Um, I had a pack of lettuce seeds that was bad, and I think I accidentally grabbed that one and sewed it back here. So I'm going to watch it uh, a little bit longer and see what it does. So I have my seeds back here planted and you can see there's some just starting to come up right here and um, here's some alyssum. Let's see, here's the marigold here, there's some bok choy more alyssum. Now these are my onion seedlings over here. These were trimmed right before they came out. And then I have my uh, oregano here and my basil. And this is my cold season stuff. Now Cold season stuff really doesn't like the heat, so I have this in the cooler part of the greenhouse. Um, half of the greenhouse is heated and half of it isn't. And I'm using the radiant heat in the floor. And then um, we were having an issue with moisture at nighttime. So what we started doing is, is we started running the fan 24-7. And if it's not too cold out, we've been letting the vents open. So this is some uh, parsley and uh, lovage over here. Now I was harvesting some parsley for parsley potatoes the one day. It was really good. And uh, this is more bok choy. This was started on the, let's see here, the 11th. This was started on April the 11th here. And I have my spinach over here. And these are more seedlings here. These are straw flowers. And this is my bok choy from in the basement. I am going to be transplanting this. Um, I'm working on getting all of my containers cleaned up so I can get my stuff transplanted. And here's some more lettuce over here. And 
and this is my status and this is more uh, bok choy now we're using these here to help keep keep heat in the uh, greenhouse at night we did have a uh, where the temperatures got down in the 30s and we set our thermostat to come on uh, when it needs to and everything did well for us so uh, these here are uh, poor man's orchid flowers here um, these were started inside so they didn't quite grow the way that they should have you see a pansy bloom in there more pansies these are uh, an early batch of tomatoes that I had started and then my peppers are over here and these are more annuals here this is gumfrina uh, I brought out one of my uh, eucalyptus plants here this is one of my eucalyptus seedlings And these are snapdragons all through here. And my petunias here, they started blooming for me. And I have salvia here. This is a uh, different variety of salvia. And I have different uh, paper daisies here. And this is more salvia back there. And these are some early sweet potato slips that we did and I will have links down in the uh, description for how we do our sweet potato slips and you can see my eggplants down here now yes eggplants love full Sun but um, this is the part that's heated and we had some nights where it got down in the 30s so um, the more tender stuff we have on the floor to keep it warmer so I just transplanted one today this is one of the aswad eggplants Let's see there's more plants over here and then all of my shade stuff is uh, under here And my begonias that can take the sun in the northern climates they're up here and this is my let me get out of the light here this is my lobelia here and a wax begonias this is um, my crepes pedia And then um, down here I have different seeds germinating this is uh, another batch of tomatoes here this is the ones that I started in the uh, video that I did and then um, I started some early cucumbers to actually grow in the greenhouse and I will have a link down in the description for how I start my cucumbers and I'm trying an experiment with uh, some squash and zucchini plants too so these are more tomatoes that just started coming up for me and then um, I have the calabracho seedlings and the asarian seedlings over there so right now um, we only have one layer of the greenhouse film on and uh, we are going to be doing a double layer we plan on doing that and um, so that'll help uh, with controlling the heat more because it's going to help insulate it more so we plan on putting the second layer on but I just wanted to walk you through a quick tour of the greenhouse now this back here is my planting area for right now and we are kind of moving that around because there's still a few things that we're working on
So um, we do have a vent down there on the end, and then we have another one up here that we can open. And um, this took about three years um, to build this. So it's really important to make sure that you have airflow coming through your greenhouse. And I have another fan then, if I have to, that I can plug in and run to um, help circulate the air. So uh, this has been a dream of mine to have a greenhouse since 2003 when I first started gardening. So I wanted to bring these along on this tour. I still do have some stuff in the basement. Uh, one thing that I did is when I brought the stuff out, I really looked it over, uh, made sure that there was no type of fungus or disease on it or pest before I brought it out into the greenhouse because that would be just disastrous. Um, you do have to watch uh, how much you water your plants if it's going to be cool outside or overcast and rainy. And back here I have the uh, caladiums here. And I have my shade-loving begonias over here. Um, I have some fuchsia cuttings here. And they're getting ready to bloom. I have some coleys here. And um, you really want to make sure that you keep the growing area uh, free of plant debris and litter. And um, like, you want to make sure that spent blossoms, you take them off, uh, you don't let them go or on there. Like this one here, spent, this is one of the petunias, so I'm just taking this off and I will be getting rid of these here. Um, what will actually happen if you don't, it can lead to different blights and diseases and uh, we don't want that. So you want to make sure that uh, when you water your stuff that it has a chance to dry before nightfall. And you can actually see here the foliage blowing in the wind. And I want to show you the bases of the tomatoes here. You can see they have nice thick stalks to them. We plan on getting a uh, shade cloth for this so that we don't, uh, the plants don't get sunburned. So uh, we are going to be looking into getting a uh, shade cloth for it. Now one thing with the shade cloth, um, like if it's going to snow or something, you don't want the shade cloth on. You. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, you can leave them below and I'll try and answer them for you. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button that ties up put a new video on. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye.